coming into your YouTube airwaves. I'm Vaughn, the Stat Man, and welcome to the Stat Room. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Vaughn the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter, at Vaughn the Stat Man. And guys, check out my website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. Now, these are some of the top plays from week seven NFL. So without wasting any more of you guys time, let's get into the breakdown. A quick recap on FanDuel, guys. We almost doubled our money. So this is, again, another week where we didn't lose. You don't always have big weeks, guys. I typically play $35 or less on FanDuel. So that's not bad. Turn 19 into $34. Welcome back, everyone. I am glad you guys are back with me, guys, and I have some solid picks in store for you today for this week seven NFL two game Monday night slate. And guys, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn them bell icons on because these picks can go up, they can go down or they can remove them completely. And also, guys, I have a Patreon so you can go to the description section of this video and get the link to my Patreon. All right, guys, so let's get right to it. So. I got to give you guys a disclaimer because pickums and picks, they're not the same as before. The sites now have decided to give a lower payout. So basically, something that we've done since, since pickums have started, if you pick two players from the same team, they're going to punish you and give you a lower payout. If you pick two players in the same game, they're going to give you a lower payout. So just know when you used to see 5x for four mans, you're now seeing 4x so you have to decide whether pickums and picks are worth it to you all right so without wasting any more of you guys time let's get into the first pick all right so for the first pick guys and this is my favorite pick on the slate Rashad Bateman's receiving yards is 34.5 Tampa Bay's number two cornerback is Jamel Dean and whether he plays or he doesn't play will not be able to guard Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman is one of the most consistent receivers. Last year, he was ranked seventh in separation. This year, he's ranked 11th. That's, I mean, 12th. He's ranked 12th out of all the NFL receivers. That means he's open all day like 7-11. So this is my favorite pick on the entire slate. Rashad Bateman higher than 34.5 receiving yards. If you like the video so far, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. If you haven't played on Parlay Play, you are missing out because they got some of the best picks in the industry. I love the value here, guys. And if you go over to Parlay Play, you use my code and sign up, they'll match you up to $100 and they'll give you an additional $5 and they'll give you a free protected pick. Go check this site out, guys. It's one of the best platforms out there. So without wasting any more of you guys' time, let's get into the last pick. On underdog you can use my code on the screen and they will match you up to $1,000 and you will get a free pick by just using my code VH sports all right guys so now you know understand why I do like Bateman I just think he's in a great matchup to go over 34.5 receiving yards I don't believe he's gonna be this low for the rest of the season so get this pick in quick so guys we're gonna go on over to prize pick and get our next pick and guys stay tuned till the end because I will be giving out some fan duel picks as well so we already know that we love Rashad Bateman now let me show you guys something on Bateman that you might want to take a chance on all right so we're not gonna go for that that's you never go under but his demon is 59 guys me personally i'm gonna take a chance on his demon today i think that bateman gets about 80 receiving yards a day but for the video since we're gonna be safe in the video we'll go 34.5 but for the risk takers that 59.9 i really like that demon as well so you can do the demon or you can do the 34.5 all right, guys, so for the last pick, the pick that I really love next, guys, we're going to go and we're going to look at Kala, Kala Mary. Now, Mary's at 220 passing yards. The Chargers have a really good pass rush. They get to the quarterback and they don't give up a lot of passing yards. So I don't see Kala Mary going over 220 Pass yards. I see them trying to run the ball more. So I'm going to take Kyle Murray for less than 220.5 passing yards. So that is going to be it, guys. You got Bateman for more than 34.5. You got Kyle Murray for under 
220.5 pass yards. So stay tuned for my FanDuel. So now we got this FanDuel screen pulled up, guys. I'm going to go through each quarterback and tell you what I like and don't like about each quarterback. Lamar Jackson is 9-5, and if we look at his numbers, Lamar Jackson has given out 22, 36, 33, 25, 17, and 28. Going against this team, they will be able to run the ball if Vita Vey is not in the game. If Vita Vey is in the game, then I love Lamar Jackson running it even more because they will be able to stop Henry because Henry typically runs between the tackles, then bounces it outside. Lamar Jackson typically bounces outside and they will run away from Vita Vey. So if Vita Vey plays, I like Lamar Jackson. But as far as on FanDuel, at 9-5, I can see Lamar Jackson giving you about 22 fantasy points. I don't believe you need to do that. Baker Mayfield is a better option. Baker Mayfield is going to shred this Ravens defense. I, I believe if you get Baker Mayfield, now you can stack him with both of his receivers, which I absolutely love. In this matchup, I don't see how any of the Ravens cornerbacks can stop Evans or Godwin, and they have a great tight end. So Baker is a great option. I already said early in the video, Kyler Murray, I don't think he gets over 220 passing yards, but where Kyler Murray can kill the Chargers is he can get out and scramble. He can run for 40 yards and a touchdown. So if you're taking Kyler Murray, you're taking him solely on his rushing ability today. You think he's going to get 40 rushing yards and a touchdown. And Herbert against Arizona, I don't know if he has the firepower because Arizona's defense has been getting better. So for that, we're going to take Baker Mayfield at the quarterback position. At the running back position, I love Derrick Henry if Vita Vey doesn't play. If Vita Vey plays, guys, then I would fade Derrick Henry. And I know that sounds crazy because if Vita Vey plays, I see Derrick Henry getting 18 fantasy points. And I think we can take that $9,000 salary and put it elsewhere. Connor, I absolutely love. I believe he matches Derrick Henry today. So Connor is the one that I love in this matchup, guys. So I believe that Connor is going to be one of the top running backs on the slate. So for that, we're going to take Connor. At the wide receiver position, Evans has been quiet, guys. He's the highest priced wide receiver on the slate. Look, four fantasy points. And before that, he had a 20 fantasy point game. He's going up against a very bad defense. Now, the Ravens defense has been improving over the past few weeks. But Evans is someone I like. Godwin is... One of my favorite plays on the entire slate because the, the type of system that Tampa Bay plays, I'm not going to go into the whole detail. I'm not going to give out my whole system, but I'm going to just say that I'm going to someone that I really like. Flowers is just unguardable. I don't really care what cornerback is out there with the threat of Derrick Henry running and the threat of Lamar Jackson running, the threat of Likely and Andrews at the tight end position for Baltimore going across the middle. Flowers is always an option. Harrison is coming off of a concussion, so I believe that he's going to be more involved. I do like him against this Charger defense. I think he's going to expose this Charger defense. So the player that I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys, Goodwin. I just think Goodwin is in the position. I think out of all of the receivers, he's going to get the most targets. He's going to go up against Baltimore's number two cornerback. So I absolutely love him in that position. Now at the tight end position, guys, I don't like McBride. I love Likely. I don't like Andrews. And I love Otten. And I love Will Disley. I think Will Disley, if you want to go inexpensive, if you throw well Will Disley out there, guys, you can then go and get Derrick Henry if you believe Derrick Henry would get 24 fantasy points. So Will Disley, if you look at his numbers, guys, he's actually been getting more targets. And I think that he's the one that I would take a chance on this week. So I'm going to take Will Disley. But if you don't like Will Disley, guys, you can always go and get likely because I like him as well. But we're going to go cheap because we want to spend up at other positions. And then the defense, guys, you can pick your own defense, guys. So that's going to be it, guys. You got Will Disley at 4,800. I believe he gets his first touchdown. Then you got Godwin and Connor and Mayfield. All right, guys. So that's it, guys. Hope you liked the video, guys. Let me know what you thought about the video. Put in the comment section if you like any of these picks and what picks you might like. And guys, don't forget to check out my Patreon that is in the description section of this video. Again, I am Vaughn the Statman. Thanks for watching. And guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you get what you want. And don't forget to think and ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. Again, guys, love you guys.